Brewer and the New South Wales Waratahs promises to deliver fireworks here at Amy Park. The Waratahs' invincible streak in Super W ended at the hands of the Fijian side three weeks ago and now they're looking for redemption and their fifth straight title. Andrew Swain in commentary this afternoon and joined by Wallabies legend Tim Horan and former Wallaroo Christy Gitto. Christy, welcome. What a stage for women's rugby this afternoon. You could not have picked a better day with better weather. The girls, we've just come from the back oval where they were doing warm up and gosh, they look a little bit nervous, but extra pumped to get the result out here today. Like you've said, both were very top contending teams and it's going to be interesting to see which way it goes today. And Tim, we saw a margin between these two sides, but those kind of gaps close in this kind of occasion, don't they? Yeah, it's a big stage for the Fijiana and Drew up. Grand final time is different than pool stages, and it's going to be a big test for the Waratahs this afternoon. Yeah, and I just wanted to highlight Della Mia, who I think has been outstanding the last couple of weeks, has come from New Zealand and really has added that extra oomph in the forwards. And the other person I really want to highlight is Ila Siva Batabasaga. Um, could potentially be her last game. There's rumours. Don't know how they are, how true they are, guys. <laughs> but uh, rumours that maybe this could be her last. So I'm sure she'll be going out with a big bang. Oh, retirements always bring the best out in, in players in their last game, don't they, Tim Hoare? And there's a look at the Waratahs bench and some firepower out wide in particular to come off some youngsters. Tatum Bird and Lane Morgan to come on late and provide some impact. This is a look at the Fijian and Drua. Fijiana and Drew aside. Yeah, they've been undefeated, of course, through this Build Corp Super W competition, and they've been in sensational form. We didn't know a lot about them when they first came in, but there's some names. Of course, Tawake, the skipper at number three, very important for her. Rocco Uno at fly half. She's going to be really important to guide this team around, but also she's going to be under a lot of pressure because they know the Waratahs know how good she is. And in the back line, Lamani and also Nikore on the wing are sensational players with a lot of pace as well. Yeah, they certainly do have a lot of pace out wide. Uluwi Nayao, Rajeli Uluwi Nayao in that 21 jersey has been outstanding off the bench for the Fijiana and Drua this year also as Grace Hamilton leads this New South Wales Waratahs team out onto Amy Park. Women's rugby takes centre stage here at Super Round for the Build Corp Super W. And Hamilton leading the New South Wales Waratahs out for another grand final. What a moment for New South Wales. Again, as you mentioned, Swanee, another grand final. This one, their toughest. And Mahalia Murphy, 10 tries so far in the competition. She's been in brilliant form, Christy. She definitely has. And not only is she a finisher, but she's a creator. So she has also contributed to three other tries. So that's something that's quite dangerous if you're trying to defend someone like Mahalia. So she's someone definitely Fijiana need to watch. Yeah, Mahalia Murphy didn't play against the Fijiana and drew up a couple of weeks ago. So that will add some spice to this clash for sure. And here come the Fijiana and Drua undefeated in Super W 2022. Bitila Tawake leads her side out. And what an occasion for these, this group of women who will make up the bulk of the Fijian squad as well when they're named later next week. There'll be a lot of nerves around this team here this afternoon, Swaney. And on the wing, Vitalina. Nakore has been in great form. Five tries in the competition. She's the speedster, and that'll be a great matchup. Margot Vala, of course, on the other wing, matching her in the Waratahs, but a lot of nerves. They haven't played in the grand final, their first competition in Super W. She's going to be one to watch this afternoon. I think you'll find Nakore has a soccer background, guys. So those nerves, um, I wonder if they will kick in, like you were saying, Tim. Kick in. I see what you did there. <laughs> Tyler Miller takes the whistle for the Super W final here. Tyler Miller obviously having played as well for the Western Force in Super W this year. So great to see her extending her talents across refereeing and playing. Here's a look at Grace Hamilton. Concentration on her face. The two captains facing off. Almost set for kickoff. Okay, ready? 
2022 Super W final is underway and Piper Duck just loses her footing initially and then runs into a wall of Fijiana and Drua jerseys. Hamilton with an early carry and they want to exit territory and possession was a focus this week something that they didn't get a chance to focus on when they played the Fijiana and Drua three weeks ago and oh solid defensive work there Hiliate getting the shoulders warmed up and Ravisa shifts the ball away to Nikoria who tries to get it back on the inside it's been lost forward so it'll be a Waratah scrum, but no option. immediately we see the intent from the Fijiana and Drua, Christy. Yeah, I think what um, they've done here is shown them the sideline, which is an extra defender, and they know that Fiji like to go around them. So what they've done there is a fantastic defensive effort by the New South Wales team. Emily Chancellor, good defence there, but you see straight away, as you mentioned, Andrew Swain, the, the offloads. They're so good at the offloads, the Fijiana and Drua. First scrum of the game. This will be an interesting battle. Paddy Masanga will feed the scrum. And here's McKenzie. So back inside for Piliate, who twists her way over the advantage line. Wrapping around quickly is Nangama. Quick ball for the Waratahs. McKenzie. Draw and pass, and then Murphy, so dangerous, gets the ball away. Inside from Kramer to Chancellor. Good continuity here from the Waratahs. Patient play. As Nagama gets tackled in the midfield. I want to bounce pass to Piliate, and Fredericks has to reach, and it goes backwards, but Delamere is caught. And just a slight knock on there from Vela and it'll be a Fijiana and Drua scrum. Good defence from the Fijiana and Drua. They were spaced across the field. Waratahs just panicked a little bit. A couple of passes out in front. But nice sour at six. Jade Coates, a couple of tackles midfield as well, the back row up. Christy, it's about the Waratahs being patient this afternoon and trying to hold the ball and maintain possession for long periods of time. Yeah, that's right. In the first couple of minutes, they're probably just getting a feeler as to what their intentions are defensively, and they're just sort of seeing where there are gaps. But you're right, patience is definitely going to pay off. Big scrum from the Tars. Been wheeled around, and they scramble. Here's Rocco Uwano. Rondina Yavuni floats the pass to Ravisa, and now Lomani on the outside. And the crowd really getting vocal here, and Rondina Yavuni a little pick and go down the short side. Ringula. And here's Tawaki, the captain. With a head of steam. Quick ball. Coming around the corner now. Nice seller. Tars really having to defend hard here. Fijiana and Drew are throwing everything at this Waratahs team. That one's lost forward, though. We'll pack another scrum. The Waratahs survive. Waratahs will be really happy with that result. I spoke to uh, Grace Hamilton midweek, and she was saying they really want to show defensive effort. And that's exactly what we just saw there, Tim. Yeah, great defence from the Waratahs. They didn't commit too much to the breakdown. And Fijiano and Drew saw that. That's why they were doing some pick and drives going through the middle. Tawaki, the skipper. One of the first to That's pick it. and drive. Spider Cam on top here of the scrum. Emily Robinson at number one. A loose head prop for the Waratahs up against the skipper of Fijiana and Drew, number three, Tawaki. Coach! Bind! Set! We've actually got Motorungu playing at tight head, so a bit of a switcheroo in the front row. And McKenzie just punts that one into touch. So it'll be a Fijiana and Drua line out. Interesting scrum formation from the Fijiana and Drua. Yeah, putting the tight head prop into the hooker. Tawaki has captured. You can play a course hooker and tight head. So it'll be interesting to see what Arabella McKenzie does 
this afternoon, kicking that ball out, making sure it goes into touch so Waratah's girls can set their defensive line. I think you found New South Wales have had 14 defensive steals in the line-out, so I think they're probably fairly confident in hitting the line and hoping to get the steal back. So Matarungu will throw in. Sarah Nagama picks it off. A line-out thief there from Nagama and Kramer. Just takes the tackle. And now McKenzie will put this one into touch. And gains a few more metres for the Waratahs. Nice work from Sarah Guama to go up. She stayed at the front. She didn't go back and her little pod of three there. They didn't fall for the bluff and go back. She stayed up front, got her right hand up and got the ball back. And Badabasaga did well to shift it. And again, can't hit the target. Hamilton wins it at the back, read it well, and makes good metres up towards halfway. That of Basunga. The nine Gama, who's been busy early on. And a quick ball, the Waratahs. And Delamere shifts along to Piper Duck. Who needed the support to sc scramble. Fredericks again has to shift back to pick that ball up. And Mahalia Murphy. Yeah, she didn't like that one. She misses the mark and it goes into touch. What they're doing really well is identifying the space, but the execution's just not quite there yet. But again, is that down to nerves or is it just down to, you know, the execution of that skill? Tim? Oh, Illy Badabasaga, just a couple of passes have gone to ground from scrum half and you've got to identify the space. There was four Waratahs attackers out there with one defender. They've got to try and take those opportunities, New South Wales. And that one of those attackers was Mahalia Murphy, mm. the one you want the ball in her hands. She did well to trap it with her foot, Mahalia. Another line out. Be able to hit the target today so far. The Fijiana and Drew, this one goes forward. And the winning Gila. Tidies up for the Fijiana and Drew. Grace Hamilton couldn't quite get that one at the back. Now a different tactic here from the Fiji and Drew are playing a little more direct. The pick and go. Standing over it, Nasewa. And Piper Duck on the ball though. Wanting the turnover. Whistle doesn't go. It's play on. And now the Fiji and Drew, here's Rocco Uwana. And smashed in the tackle. Roll red by Piliate. Dini Yavuni, she's been involved a lot early as well. Gotta keep it tight. The shifting tactics, Nicewa. Wrestled to the ground by Hamilton. No, stay. Bit of close hand-to-hand -hand combat here for both these teams as winning Gila takes it to ground. Is Wumbuti and Chancellor with the tackle. Rocco Uwano floats it out to Nikore on the left wing, the try scoring machine. Tamoy, Coates. Here's the winning Gila, loses it forward. Chance to counter attack here for Bata Basanga. And Piliate just juggles it, will come back for the first scrum, no score here at Amy Park. Full advantage, knock on, scrum. Hot conditions here at Amy Park for the Back Super team. W final. And Waratahs at the moment have had three or four Back chances team. to counter-attack and really get away with some breaks outside of their half, but just the ball control at the moment. Piliate there just dropping that one at number 12 and the opportunities just go missing for the Waratahs to get out of their half at the moment so need to take their chances. Great pictures here at Amy Park for this showpiece event using all the toys 
here on nine and stand for this Super W final. No score after 10 minutes. Been a nervous 10 minutes from both sides. Paddy Basunga throws a wild pass over the top and Murphy has to loses her footing. So Vela has to scramble and does very well. Does Margot Vela. Beats three or four to get the ball back to nearly the 22. Oh, that's some sort of run from Vela. It really is as Batty Basunga out of the box. Puts it downtown. We'll come back for the penalty, but Vela, she saved the day. Oh, again, Hilly Batty Basunga. That's a third pass that's gone to ground away from the players. And Christy, that saved the day there from Vela. What a step. That was amazing footwork. I mean, realistically, if you're playing the Fijiana team, you, a sidestep is probably yeah. warranted. Um, but she did amazing. She beat four defenders and then set her team up for a kick there to the sideline, of which they'll get possession back again. So they've had no territory, the Waratahs, so far. It's all been played in their own half. This is a chance for them to take play closer to the Fijiana and drew a goal line. There's Margot Vela. Really had to scramble as Nangama brings it down. And they get the march on O'Gorman in control at the back. And Paddy Basanga wants it. Here's McKenzie. Piliate. Fredericks. Wraparound play for Murphy. They have the extra player on the outside. Murphy gives it to Kramer, who does get it back to Murphy. And it takes three Fijiana players to bring Murphy down. Now they have some territory. And front football. Piliate, though. Knocked backwards. And piggybacked upfield with another whistle. So this is a real opportunity for the Waratahs. Lovely backline play from offside. the Waratahs. Fijiana and Drew offside at the breakdown. Piliate, Fredericks. Nice ball. Mahalia Murphy, two touches. We know it's a try scoring machine. Ten tries so far in the competition. And this was great width in their play. Yeah, it shows you when they actually execute and, and passes go to players what kind of damage they can do. And it's only through that final defender were they not able to possibly get to the try line. So now they're in prime positioning just inside the 22 with their line out feed. This would be the first visit into the Fijiana and Druitt 22 for the Waratahs. Delamere can't hit the target of Chancellor. She loses it forward. So Fijiana to Rumbuti. Let's play outside the 22 now. Can't kick it out, but that's not what this Fijiana and Drua side want to do at all because Rundini Yavuni gets in behind on Badimbasanga. Shirt fronted Rundini Yavuni. Tawaka has to go into scrum half. And it into longer. With a settling carry and Ofaki Molino. Inside ball. Oh, this is sparkling play from the Fijiana and Drua, but Lamani just coughs it up. The score is nil-nil. Christy, what have you made of the first 13 minutes of the match that look a bit rattled at the moment, mm. Fijiana and Drew, with the pressure they're getting from the Waratahs? Yeah, I think the Waratahs, their line speed is putting the Fijiana team under pressure. I think that a lot of nerves are probably coming into play as well. I think the more opportunities they have with open ball, the more you're probably going to see a free-flowing game. So they're doing very well. Scrum with New South Wales. Great pictures of this Build Corp Super W Grand Final. And the perfect view of how this scrum works. And it's a fierce battle up front, but the Tars get the march on and get the whistle. Affecting the angle. What a scrum from the Waratahs. Emily Robertson and Brady O'Gorman. Loose head prop and tight head prop really turn the screws there. You can see how much it means to the team when your backs are running from all the way on the far wing to come and congratulate their team members. So McKenzie looking for touch once again. 
and finds it up inside the 22. Yeah, they were happy, weren't they? They were happy. <laughs> back row, Grace Hamilton, Emily Chancellor, Piper Duck. Got a little bit of momentum now, the Waratahs, but they need to come away with something. First time they've been in the 22 on Fijiana. So couldn't quite execute the line out before, but Delamere finds Lini this time. So Gorman has it. Now Delamere. And then Gila coming in from the side, and they have the penalty advantage. Marching it upfield, this powerful Waratahs Mall, keeping it tight. And now it goes to deck. And it's dived on by Rumbuti, but the will come back for the penalty. And a double tap of the whistle. Let's have a listen. Leave the ball, leave the ball. It's okay. Two advantages. It's okay, we're slowing down. Captain? Yeah, just come have a chat. You captain? Captain, just wait, just... So this one's okay, we already had the advantage, which okay. is what we're going back to, but there's been too many penalties in this area of the field. Okay. okay, all over the place, I just need it cleaned up. Otherwise, next time we get down here, I'll have no choice but to yellow card okay. if there's more penalties, okay? So um, Patilla Tawaki, the over captain. Over the only one. Ball's out here. Oh, Fiji and Drew up. Nice play from the Waratahs, drove it forward, had the advantage. Entry. And a good call now also from Grace Hamilton. Captain of New South Wales Waratahs deciding to go for touch rather than trying to take three points. The only one you're going to beat Fijiana and Drua is through scoring tries, not kicking goals. So I like the call. Yeah, that's a very confident call from a very confident captain. I think they're only five metres out, a little bit over five. And uh, I think they're trusting their set piece. That one dragged down by Montgama and take two. Penalty advantage. Be trouble for the Ngrua. Let's see what the Tars can pull off here. They've picked it back up and away they go again. Matarungu in trouble here, the number two. Just wait. Number two. Two yellow cards. Yellow card. Too many. Matarungu. So ten minutes. A big loss for Fijiana and Drua. The Third time in that throw, they were very lucky. New South Wales Waratahs, that throw wasn't straight, but it was allowed to play on the referee Tyler Miller. Yeah, and you can see Matarungu packing the scrum. So this is smart from the Waratahs because with Matarungu off the field, they'll need to bring on another front rower and they drop off a back rower. The Tars scrum we saw is just. Well, it's earned a couple of penalties. What can the Tars master here? Bind! Up! Save! And we'll repack it. Let's reset. Big back line to the right for New South Wales to if they get this quick ball, I'll put some pressure on the scrum first. The last five penalties have been against the Fijiana and Drua, so piling on pressure. And Waratah's back line deep and wide. If it gets to the backs, I think keep an eye out for Georgina Frederick. She's been involved in lots of the New South Wales tries. Yeah, there's danger all over the park for the Waratahs. Real threats across the park. Matty Basanga. Now the Tars get the shove. And Hamilton controlling it at the back. Stay, stay, stay. stay. Arm stays down for the referee. He's McKenzie. Pilia'e. Pilia'e out the back to Kramer, who gets wailed in the midfield. And here's trouble for the Waratahs, the Fijiana and Drua herring downfield. And it's being socketed along by Nikore. And suddenly they find themselves 70 metres upfield. Oh, sorry. And a penalty against them. Here's Rundini Yavuni. Lamani into the 22. And another penalty. Oh, wow. That's the power and the strike power of this Fijiana and Drua team. Rundini Yavuni taps and goes again. Brought down six out. 
We've seen this tactic from them as Ofaki Molino gets brought down. Early in this game, here's Tawake, the captain. And Delamere over the top. Trying to wrap that ball up. Roka Uono wide and it misses the hands and goes into touch. So the Tars survive. An onslaught from the Andrua. Well, only just survived, Swaney. A five metre scrum at the other end of the field. And all of a sudden the ball goes to ground. Frederick's got smoked out wide. Kramer, I think it was, on the left wing that came across, and all of a sudden then they went the length of the field. That was a try for all odds oh. if Lomani catches that. Just goes to show you what momentum can do. Yeah. Five metres down at one end, almost five metres down the other end. What a brilliant game. They're so brilliant in transition, this Fijiana team. Lini. It's been cleaned up by Ofaki Molino again. Pops it up off the ground. And Dina Yavuni. The Tars really rush up on her. Ball on the ground. Rocco Uono throws it wide to the dangerous Nikore. And here she goes. Nikore is so dangerous. And the Andrua strike first in the final. Fijiana and Drua get the first try. I'd love to have a look at a potential knock on and also an offside play from Fijiana and Drua midfield. I think it was Rocco Uono. When you look at the play and it went to ground off this line out the back of the line out they wanted to shift it wide it was just after this play here rocker Uno in jersey number 10 that's knocked on now you'd have to come back for that if the tmo has seen that there's a knock on in play there but nakure five tries in the competition is this number six we'll soon find out she is absolutely electric, how she's in and away, fended and then out sprinted Mahalia Murphy, which is not an easy feat, we know, guys. She's electric in herself. So now it looks like the Fijiana team is up 5-0. Yeah, and seemingly a knock-on in the midfield. Rocco Urano. We'll line this one up. After 21 minutes, looking to make it 7 0. No, out to the left. So, five points to nil. The Andrua leading the Waratahs. This is the play here. And then back. That's the knock on there. And Tyler Miller must have been unsighted, the referee, to not be able to see that. So, a break for Fijiana and Drua. For a try number six in the Build Corp Super W. How do the Waratahs respond here? That is the question. McKenzie, high and contestable. So the Andrua shifting it along the hands. Oh, big tackle from Piliate. On Coates in the midfield. And they send it downtown. It just checks for McKenzie. They're up on her quickly. Here's Murphy with a bit of room to move. Looking to get on the outside. Floats the pass out to Vela, who does really well to reel it in one handed. And gets to the ground. Takes play over halfway. Hamilton, the captain. Charging into the defence. The it's a little untidy. They have penalty advantage. Two advantages. Whistle Both goes. Outside. That's better for Mahalia Murphy. A left to right cut Both out outside. pass to Vala. And she's staying to hit her straps now. A couple of drop passes early in the match. Arabella McKenzie goes for touch. A good touch finder. That's a good ball. Vala did really well to take it. Yeah, outstanding hands by Valor. Already we've seen some great involvement from her where she beat the defenders. Here we see Gracie Hamilton taking up and demanding attention. Three players needing to take her down. That led to the penalty. Delamere finds Chancellor. They bring it down and set up that maul. Good front football now. 
Delamere still going. Chancellor in there ripping the ball away now. Marching the upfield. Oliver Sanger in digging now. McKenzie. Flat pass to Fredericks. Just got clipped around the ankles. Now Hamilton switches the direction of play. He can go. Here's Robinson. Robinson holds it up. Delamere is in. The Waratahs with an immediate reply. Now, didn't they need that, the New South Wales girls, to be able to get through and score the try after Fijiano and Drew got the first try of the match? Might have a look to make sure the ball's being grounded from so, Natalie um, Delamere. I've come from the other way and I've not seen the grounding, but if you're happy you've seen a clear grounding, we're going to go try? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, try. Five pointer for the Waratahs. New South Wales Waratahs. There's a nice ball from Emily Robinson to look up and see the space. You see the numbers that New South Wales had. And Roberts was one, drew two players. Show and go from Delamere and an important try at five all. Yeah, Delamere is an absolute weapon that close to line. It's very hard to uh, sort of defend her. That show and go and drawing two over the, the try line there was a fantastic effort. But as you pointed out, Tim, Emily Robinson drawing the two to get the overlap um, was a fantastic skill there. Nice hands, just show and go from Delamere and you know, the conversion important. There she is, Natalie Delamere. She played against Fijiana and Drua a couple of weeks ago. Hasn't had too many minutes this year. Here goes Kramer. Into the sun, and just drags it to the left. So we're all square. 25 minutes gone and less than a minute to play on the yellow card. Delamere with the try. So five points apiece in this Super W final here at Amy Park as part of Super Round. What an occasion it is. As Rocco Uwana sends it down to Magama. Takes the tackle. Try scorer. Delamere is McKenzie. Piliate putting it on the toe. Playing territory. Ravisa weighs up her options and takes it far side. Just in the tackle by Fredericks. And looking to pick and go. That one's a penalty. McKenzie threw her hand out. Penalty only, though. And drew a go quickly. Rumbuti with a barnstorming carry. Here's Andevita Longa. Chancellor trying to get her hands on it. It's untidy at the back there for the Indrua, but here's Lewinin Gila. Slow ball. Afaki Molina. That's a bit quicker for Tawaki, the captain. And hands the ball off to Naikore. A dangerous Naikore who just threw off Margot Vela. One bouncing in front for Ofaki Molino. Offload off the ground to the winning Gila. And now they get front football. And give it to Throws a pass out behind Rondini Yavuni. And Rondini Yavuni brought down right on the 22 on this near oh, touch line. Offside. Penalty, they'll go quickly here. Here's Rondini Yavuni looking to keep, catch the Waratahs offside. Big tackle by O'Gorman. Puts Rundini Yavuni on her back. And they get off the line quickly, but strength from Nicewa. Up the middle they go. Under Vita Longa. Extra roll. A second Time roll. Off. Time off. And it's a penalty. The, the time is off. 
Yeah. Now, I might okay. go back and have a look at this tackle from okay, yeah, well, Brady O'Gorman. That made in a good shot on Rondini and Vooney. But when we're in this area, I needed to be a bit cleaner, okay? Yeah. It slid up. It was the second Brady coming in. We'll call time off for this player and this player, okay? Time off! Yeah. Yeah. The score is five points apiece. Gracie Hamilton talking there to the to the ref in regards to um, what exactly they need to do to be more disciplined. And I think it's the height of their tackle and just making sure that they maintain their discipline, particularly so close to the try line. Here you can see Illa Siva got a small cut near the eye, so she's just getting that patched up. Atarungu, the number two for Fijiano and Drua back on the field after having her 10 minutes on the sideline. So Ili Batibasano getting some running repairs. And standing over it is Tamoi. And they'll quickly tap it. Here we go, Matarungu charging into the Tars defensive line and they have another crack. Here's Tamoy. That's a nice Sewa. Rocco Uono. Wide they go. And Rondini Yabuni is in for the Imbrewers second. She's a try scoring machine. Roella Rondini Yabuni. And they take the lead. Nice play from Fijiana and Drew up. A couple of decoy plays which held up the defensive line of New South Wales. Rocco Uno at fly half positioned everyone really well. They knew they were going to go out the back on two occasions. There's one out the back, a second one decoy play. Lovely pass from Rocco Uno to probably the best player on the field at the moment, Radini Yavuni. Yeah, we definitely um, flagged Rocco Uno as the player that knew the Waratahs had to watch because of her skill set and because of her vision and, and identifying space. And that's a great example there where she cuts out two players to go to her 13, who does the dummy and scores. So what a great play there by Fijiana. Rondini, Yavuni, Fijian support here this afternoon at Amy Park in Melbourne. Second try to Fijiana and Drua. Rocco Uono can't have the extras, so Andrua leading 10 points to five, half an hour gone. Great to see so much support here for Fijiana and Drua. Of course, the next game here will be Fiji and Drua against the Blues from Auckland. Plenty of support for them as well. And of course, the Hurricanes from New Zealand will take on the Queensland Reds later on tonight. So three matches in a row. Oh, you're getting value today if you're in Melbourne or watching on Stan or Sky Sports. What an occasion Super Round has been in this. A showpiece event for women's rugby. As the Fijiana and Drua are on the toe. Mackenzie waiting back there. Let's it bounce past her and into the 22. Still Murphy beats the first. No, Rundini Yavuni. Makes the clutch tackle on Murphy. Balls available. Has to do a bit of organising and then gets it away to McKenzie. Watch the angle, hey? Watch the angle. Sends it downtown. Here's Nakore. Nakore. Just a powerful runner. Always causing dramas for a defensive line. Fucky Molino. Trundles it around the short side. Here's Matarungu. In front foot ball. This and Drew aside. Anti Pita Longa. There's a wild offload back to Rocco Uono. And Rocco Uono puts it high. Looking for Lamani. And finds her. And Lamani. What a try for the Fijiana and Drew. That is special to watch. How good. Fiji and Drua. Lamani, what a catch and try. And all the replacements come on and show their support. 
there was nothing happening here. The ball came out the back and they weren't sure what to do. All of a sudden, a high kick across. Kalora Lamani takes it, little in and away, runs 22 metres. What an important try that's going to be for Fijiana and Drua this afternoon. What's really interesting about this Fijiana team is they've only averaged four kicks in field for a whole game. Just then we saw two consistent field kicks to get the Waratahs on the back foot at which they got possession back. And again, we just saw a pinpoint accuracy kick that got Lamani to a five-point try. I think people like Matt Guido could take point over <laughs> kicking <laughs> kicks like that. What do you think, guys? Oh, don't, don't dish on your brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what wingers they have, though, Fijiana and Drua. Nakore on the left, Lamani on the right. Five tries so far in the Bill Corp Super Rugby season. Six on the left wing, five on the right wing. So, Nikore taking the kicking duties and drills that one home. So, the Andrua out to a 17 points to five lead. Very timely too, guys, with only a couple of minutes to go in this half. So, going in at halftime with momentum, I think, is critical, particularly in a, in a grand final. Lamani, the footwork that she put on Arabella McKenzie. McKenzie just got flat-footed, tried to show on the sideline, and she took it. McKenzie puts this one deeper down towards the 22. Take him back. No, that's all good. Not held. So this one taken back by the Indrua. Murphy is there waiting. Has the options, weighing them up. And now floats the pass across to Kramer with no one in front of her and a little skip step from Laurie Kramer. It's brought down by Rondini Yavuni, who's certainly done some work in this first half. Got him to Sanger. Piliat in at first receiver. That one off the feet, so it's play on. And O'Gorman does well to chew off a couple of extra metres after the initial hit. Chancellor. They go far side, he's Hamilton. He stepped out of it. And it's there for Leaney. Oh, Badabasunga was smashed. She put her hands on the ball and it was game over and the Fijiana and Drua, what about the hands <laughs> from them? Lamani. And they slide into touch, it beats them all the touch line, but Oh, it's exciting to watch. Gosh, they've got flair. This is why people tune in to watch these games. There's a style of rugby that Fiji players play that I think it's just so entertaining. Look at this footwork. Little goose step, show and go, fantastic offload. Unfortunately, was tackled over the sideline, but still, what an amazing spectacle of sport. Rodini Yavuni, we spoke about her a couple of times this afternoon. She's just playing with a smile on her face and getting some offloads away, a little goose step. Offloaded Amani. But they've been watching, of course, for many, many years, the Fijian men's seven team, how good they are and how they get their offloads away and the support runners that are coming in from behind. They're a special team and, of course... What I do want, Tim, I want to be in their change rooms before the game. It sounds like a nightclub in there. <laughs> the laughter, the chats, the dancing, like they were, it seemed like the place to be before the game. Well, I think it's just entertaining for them. That's how they get themselves up for the game. Yeah, the, it's a be beautiful culture and how they celebrate an occasion like this. Tars win the line out and Hamilton charges upfield. Mackenzie, Fredericks. Fredericks looking to get on the outside. Oh, hit hard in the tackle by Marawa. They were in the penalty, the Waratahs. Yep, unfortunately weren't on side there, so Waratahs will get prime position just outside the 22, and it looks like they're going for the line again. Yeah, they don't want to get this, let this game get away from them. The Waratahs, 12-point lead to the Indrua. With less than four and a half to play in this first half. Can 
the tar strike just before the break. This would be perfect timing. The lineout though isn't executed. And so the Fijiana and Drua are in possession. Send it across field. Looking to get the offload away. That one can't find the hands. And coming over the top. Big tackle from Piliate. She's really put in some big shots this afternoon. No advantage. We're going to come back. Defensively, to the she's been huge. So it'll be a scrum down to the Fijiana and Drua. Hot conditions here this afternoon at Amy Park and Fijiana and Drua just held that pressure that time there. Caitlin Leaney just knocking the ball on at the line out. She'll be really disappointed with that because it wasn't even a contested line out. So, and in prime positioning as well. So they look like they're now packing a scrum. Again, in prime position. Great shots of this scrum on Spider Camp here in the Super W final. And now Fijiana and Drua send the kick downfield, and the chase is on. Vela under pressure, and advantage 11 offside. Yeah, it was Nikore who was offside. So this is a good opportunity now for New South Wales team 11. to be able. To in front of the kicker, offside. So Nakure, offside, you have to stay behind the kicker offside. until the kicker kicks the ball away. Now put this in the touch, five metres out, and get that line out right. The line out throw from Delamere last time was too short. It needs to be a bit longer, a bit higher. Come away with five or potentially seven points here, two minutes before half time, you're in the match. These are big moments in championship games. The Waratahs have played in plenty. Fijiana and Drua staying composed at this stage with a 12-point lead. They go long and Nagama drops it, but it's play on. Ball hits the deck a couple of times for the Waratahs. McKenzie floats it out to Murphy. Murphy throws a pass to nobody. It beats Laurie Kramer and goes into touch. Feels like Mahalia Murphy might just be lacking confidence in that in that last pass. Yeah, I think so. As you can see here, here's the line out. Nagama does a good job. Uh, Emily Robinson, sorry, regathers the ball. They go wide. She does a really great job in getting the ball, but it looks like maybe she's looked up. It looks like she's looked up and then not really identified who she's passing to. So she'll be really disappointed with that. Nice defensive work from Ravisa. So referee... Kyla Miller just saying needs more discipline from Fijiana and Drew. This is another penalty. A minute and a half left before half time. New South Wales still have an opportunity to come away with something just before half time as McKenzie puts it in the touch. So execution the key here. Just wait for the balls and open on the fives and fives them up. I'm nervous for them, guys. <laughs> Oh, these are nerve-wracking moments indeed. Nagama drags it down. They keep it tight this time. And it's Delamere with the ball. They're getting the drive on. They're over the line. Delamere is in. The Tar strike at the perfect moment before half-time. And that's her second for the afternoon. Three line-outs in a row for the Waratahs. And that time they got it right. The throw was pinpoint. Picked up Sierra Naguama and brought it down. And then they had a really good structure at the back of the mall. Saw Delamere go in. She got her hands on the ball. Batabasaga at nine. She wanted to score the try as well. The no number on the back. But Delamere, try number two in the final. Yeah, Delamere is a very, very hard player to defend that far out from the line. As you can see, the leg drive continues. The, the team in front of her was pushing her forward. And then... Ballad Badger Basaga at the back there also helping you get over the line. Guama was very good in the line out and the Fijiana and Drua, they got shifted to the left. Badger Basaga just pushed Dalamir to the left and very important try right on half time behind by seven with a kick to come here for the conversion. 
So Kramer to close the gap to five. Kramer drills it into the sun. So the Tars strike late in the first half. And it is a five-point ball game. The Fijiana and Drua leading the Waratahs 17 points to 12. Great first half of footy for both teams and close enough for the Waratahs. All right, let's get down to Sarah Nangama. Says, you are in a battle, aren't you? Yeah, it's one hell of a battle out here, but I swear we're still in this game. We're not giving up and we're not walking off there yeah, unless we're winners. That, that last try just before the break must have given you some confidence. 100%. We're going to bank on that into the second half. Good luck in the second half, Says. Go well. Cheers, Faini. So Sarah Nangama there. Let's continue the action here on Stan Sport and let's get down to Ros Kelly. That's the attitude from Sarah, which has made the Waratahs four-time Super W champions. If anyone is going to get back into this game, it is certainly those women. They have the big game experience. Great to have your company on Nine and Stan Sport as we dissect what was an action-packed first half. Uh, nice. like Ferguson, Drew Mitchell, the Fiji women look like they were just having a blast out there. They did. Well, for the better part of that first half, they were dictating the pace. So, of course, they're going to be loving their footy um, as much as they were because it was the style of rugby that they like playing Drew. It was quite fast paced. They weren't getting into the rucks and the malls for too long. Um, it was just very free flowing and they were able to get points off the back of it. Yeah, exactly right. You, you said it right there. They were, they were controlling the tempo of the game. Crucial points there at the back end of the half from uh, the Waratahs ladies to, to get back in this game. Like you heard from Sarah, 17-12. They're certainly in this halftime. Might need to make a couple of adjustments, but uh, they're certainly in this game. So five tries scored in that first half after a, a nervy opening few stages. Uh, it was the Fijian women who opened the scoring midway through the half, Drew. Yeah, it, it took a little while for both teams to sort of fill one another out and just open up with some intensity. And then there's a little bit of a, a knock on that sort of went amiss from the referee there. But the, the Fijiana played to the whistle. Nakore, who's been lethal all season in the Super W, she gets the opener here this afternoon in the final. And she's been on fire today, this afternoon. And then the Waratahs, they hit back with Delamere. She gets over for her first, first of the afternoon as well. And the Waratahs at this point looking particularly in it. They were, but this was when the Fijian and Drua started dictating the pace. And you can see this is brilliant attacking shape for them to get it out here for Yavuni to score the try. But because they were playing so fast paced, the Tars women overcommitted to that breakdown, breakdown. And that's what allowed all of that space to open up. But this is a real highlight for me um, from the Fijian and Drua. The crossfield kick that went up, the brilliant catch from Lamani, and then takes Arabella McKenzie on, on the outside to score those points. They had the run of play for the better part of that second half and those two tries in particular showed why they were so dominant. Yeah, it certainly did. And this, this is what the Waratahs need to do in the second half. They need to go to the set piece. This is where they're strong, setting up that driving more. Delamere patient at the back and just driving over for her second of the afternoon. But really crucial time for the Waratahs to score. Can you imagine the villagers in Fiji? They would be going absolutely off right now with their women in front at halftime in the 2022 Super W Grand Final. We are 40 minutes away from crowning our champion nine viewers we are off to a break the second half is on the other side of that stand viewers stay with us we're going to talk about huge super rugby pacific matches coming your way this afternoon also coming to stand sport tomorrow morning fury v white a heavyweight bout live and exclusive on stand events if you haven't signed up do it now it's going to be huge tyson fury will fight dylan white next I'm going to slap him in his boy this. I can't wait to punish Dylan White's fight. I'm a beat of Come on, I didn't like that. This shit be close. No, steamrolling. The school holidays are finally back. This is going to be epic. Jump on the couch and have a blast these holidays here on Sky. This is amazing. Holy crikey. <laughs> it should be a bit of fun. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Let me hear y'all scream. Let's have the best holiday ever.
HSBC World Rugby 7 Series, live on Sky Sport. He's in pretty good nick, only in 110,000 Ks. Woff and Reggio, you know, full service history. Try and get in. What is this? This is a one star safety rated car. I don't understand what's going on. People exactly. don't often think about how a car will crash and you know, how it will protect you. That's what a star safety rating tells you. Just can't imagine, like, if, if we crash in a car like this, there's no way we would survive. I think we've seen enough. Great deals on now at Harvey Norman. Save 462 on this Samsung large 9kg capacity heat pump dryer. Save 562 on this LG 55-inch nanocell 4K TV. Now 1798. Panasonic large capacity microwave 288. Save big. Electrolux dark stainless steel dishwasher 1488. Save 320. Massive deals across our coffee range, like this DeLonghi coffee machine, just 648. Plus 60 months interest free store wide. On now at Harvey Norman. Undivided attention. It's the least you can give our new premium pure burgers. Now in supermarket freezers. Silver Fern Farms. Delicious starts here. This isn't an ad about four wheel drives, it's about knowing the place as well as the locals. You've found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great-grandfather. You need to get co closer to the curb. I'm very close to the curb. Oh. When you get a sweet deal, that's something to sing about. Like getting a clean car rebate on a new Suzuki. That's something to sing about. Suzuki. It's time to boost your whānau protection. Boosters are the best way to keep Omicron out of your whare. They help slow the spread of the virus through our hapuri and hohipera. Now is a great time to get your booster. If your kura aged tamariki are yet to be vaccinated, bring them along so you can all get protected together. At the farm, though, it's time to tackle Omicron. Call 0800 282926 to book your farm vaccination today. Seventeen points to twelve. Gee, there's been some big hits here at Amy Park for this Build Corp Super W final between the Fijiana and Drua and the New South Wales Waratahs. Three tries to two. The Fijiana and Drua are leading the four-time Build Corp Super W champions, and the Melbourne skyline looking a picture here at Amy Park. As the Waratahs retake the field, Christy Giddo, Tim Horan, it's been a bruising battle. Yeah, it's been important too, Swaney, for New South Wales to get that try just on half time to narrow the gap to five points. A lot of support out here for Fijiana and Drua. Of course, Fiji, uh, Fiji and Drua will play the next match here at Amy Park, but for mine, 
Christy, the Waratahs just need to get a bit more ball to Fredericks out wide, Valor, Laurie Kramer as well. Spread the defensive pattern out of Fijiana. Yeah, I think more back ball would be definitely something they'll be looking to do this half. I mean, they have a lot of, can get a lot of confidence scoring last minute in that half and leading um, into this second half. So McKenzie gets play back underway. Big contact from Leaney. I'm sure Waratah's coach Campbell Aitken would have had plenty to say at half time as this one dribbles along the ground to Murphy. And Murphy gets chopped down in the tackle by Nycorda. Nygama twisting in the tackle. And McKenzie, same way. Here's Hamilton. Takes three Fijiana and Drua players to bring her down. Mackenzie straightening and dabbing it in behind and will find touch up towards the 22. That was a really clever play there with the dribble from Mackenzie behind the defensive line. Um, they know that they can probably trust their line out. They've stolen a couple already from Fijiana. So I think that was a really, really clever play. Mackenzie, fly half. Putting the ball in behind Lamani on that right wing. Now they're trying to look to steal this ball at the line out time. Shorter line out from Fijiana. They go to the front through Lewinning Gila. And Lewinning Gila tried to get the ball back to Matarungu. They stay in the field of play. Coates off the ground to Ofaki Molino, her lock partner. Now they look to clear. Fijiana and Drew it. They rarely kick this season, but we've seen quite a few, as Christy, Christy Gitto explained. And Murphy with a strong carry. Mackenzie, Fredericks, bit of room to move here. Vela has to reach behind and loses her footing. And the contact is high from Rundini Yavuni, but it's play on. O'Gorman in the midfield. And some front football. Here's Delamere who has really been involved in that first half. Two tries and a lot of carries. Here's Nangama. Abasanga goes short side. Kramer. Kramer with the stutter step. Looking for the support. Finds Piliate. Matarungu. Yeah. They didn't roll away. So the Tars win the penalty and it'll be a you'd have to think yeah line out for the Waratahs nice play nice passage you play both sides of the field for Waratahs Valor on one side McKenzie getting the ball wide to the left really smart play there by Laurie Kramer to step back in making sure they kept possession as well Mike Gama set them all up they've had real success here this afternoon and Delamere is over for a hat trick that's three for the Tars hooker and we're all square well this will make it, make it exciting seven in all Waratahs on a bit of a roll a couple of minutes before half time they're gonna try two minutes and a bit after half time they pick up another one the rolling more really good structure and Delamere actually just broke off to the left and went straight through. Try number three for the hooker. What an amazing team effort here. Really, like you are saying, Tim, really strong structure here. Very hard to defend something like that. And Delamere getting a sneaky third. How dare she, <laughs> hey? She should share the love. Great effort too from Grace Hamilton and also Emily Robinson taking Natalie Delamere through for her third try through the middle. They sheared off to the left. What a start for the second half for the Waratahs. Really interesting, Tim. They, they scored just before half time. A couple minutes into this half, they've scored again. Fijiana, Fijiana, should I say, sorry, have never had a team like this so close in score line. So it'll be interesting to see how they respond to this pressure. So Kramer looking to take the lead. The first time this afternoon. And just sneaks it inside the right hand upright. Flags go up. Tars have the lead. 
pressure now on Fijiana and Drua first. Super Rugby W final. And a couple of times, just that rolling more. I think that's where New South Wales will go back. They've had plenty of opportunity there. And see how Fijiana and Drua respond. We saw the Brumbies with the blueprint. You spoke about it, Christy Gitto, in the pregame. Yeah, the Brumbies had that sort of blueprint to sort of slow the play down and really focus on set piece, and it looks like the Waratahs have sort of ran with that. Three tries to Natalie Delamere, who's brought in for this final in the hooking role and making hay while the sun shines here at Amy Park. Mackenzie sends it down. This is where the Fijiana and Drua get really dangerous, though, but losing a footing was Ravisa. And Chancellor, shirt fronting. The winning Gila. Dragged to the ground by Lini and Fredericks. Tamoy. Shifts it across to Andy Vitalonga. And Chancellor really fighting her way in defence. That one looked a little bit nasty for Tamoy, but it's play on Tawaki. Caught behind the advantage line. Got the offload away, though, to Coates. But Kramer was there to make the tackle. And getting up slowly was Tamoy. Ravisa wanted to go quickly. Hey, Jess. I think yeah. New South Time Wales off. will be really proud of that defensive effort. AR. They talk about sort of um, con contesting and, and making sure that they're present, and that was definitely an example of that. Just listen here to the referee and Jess Ling, the okay. assistant referee. I think there was two players, yeah, was and I'm pretty sure she... Side. Yeah, side, so a happy penalty only. Yeah. So a good referee communicating with Jess Ling, the assistant referee, Tyler Miller, the referee, and... Sarah Nagram has been in everything this afternoon. They can smell a trophy, New South Wales. Defensively outstanding. And Fijiana and Drew go the tap once again. Lewinning Gilla fires into Piper Duck. Cutting back on the angle is Matarungu. She's such a strong ball carrier, and Nongama races back to make the tackle, but they're in to the Tars 22 here. Rumbuti gets the leg drive going. Tamoy with a little mousetrap play there for Matarungu. Leaving it behind Rumbuti again. So Matarungu and Rumbuti really working hard and getting on the front foot. Fujiana and Drua looking to strike back in this second half. We're keeping it tight. Here's Rumbuti again. Hamilton making the tackle. He wants it. An extra carry there, though, from the Fijiana and Drew. And Emily Chancellor gets over the top and foils that Fijiana and Drew attack. Oh, little turning points in big matches. Emily Chancellor stayed on her feet, got over the ball, but what a break midfield for Matarongu. Going through the middle, beat three defenders. And it was Sarah Nagrama who had to make the last ditch tackle. And then Rambuti as well, pick and drive. Yeah, what I loved about that wasn't just Emma Chancellor, but it was uh, Grace Hamilton, was Piper Duck. They were all being really aggressive at that breakdown to make sure that they could get that turnover. You saw Tamoy in there trying to rip the ball out and send it out wide, and they took one more. Yeah tight run and that was enough for Emily Chancellor to have a sniff. Yeah, Tamoy at scrum half was getting screams outside of her to move the ball. They had so many numbers to the right. It went one too many. I think if they were to have their time again, they would look up. If they saw M, they'd probably not do that extra run. She's amazing at the breakdown. And this one goes out the back for the Waratahs. McKenzie to Fredericks with a crash ball. Here's Hamilton getting around the corner. Adam Basunga. Murphy. Unexpected there. And now she's in a fight for the ball. She's up on her feet too. Needs to get to ground. Does well. Nicewa. 
got up in her face. And now McKenzie will clear. And it's a good clearance kick too. Finds touch up outside the 22. Touched. Nice defensive pressure from Fijiana and Drua. Nice sour. Number six for Fijiana's been defending all afternoon and ball and all tackle from Mahalia Murphy. Really is a, a, a tale of the tens, isn't it? They're both controlling the game beautifully. We know that three tries have been contributed from um, Rocco Uno, and uh, Mackenzie's doing the same. She's making sure her team are playing at the right end of the field. So they go the short line out here and then send it long. And this could be a clash of bodies and Rodini Yavuni flies through and wins that one. Ball's been turned over though, has it? No, it's still there for the Fijiana and Drua. Tawake, Rocco Uono. And now there's trouble here from Ravisa. And out to Lamani, who scored a try of her own this afternoon. Penalty advantage, been lost forward. It's just a scrum advantage here for the Fijiana and Drua. Told to release it. The gap and go up in the face of the Waratahs is Luen Ingula. Rocco Uono sends a long pass out to Naikore. Naikore with no room to move. McKenzie looking for the counter ruck. Ball was out. And Tamoy, they lose it forward now. And O'Gorman is in the midfield. And he just needs to settle it down. It's being played at a frenetic pace this game as Robinson takes it for a carry, Batty Basanga puts it away to Pilia who looks for the touchline again Gee, they're scrambling in defence New South Wales, Christy, aren't they? They're running and we can see they're, they're tired still a lo long way to go in this second half the carries from Fijiana they're, Yeah, they've been huge the, the defence is fatiguing um, I don't know how they're going to sort of go in this 22 in this line out here, but I know that once Fijiana get a sniff, it's very hard to stop them. Fijiana with the throw in. Yeah, still in Tars territory here, so. Four and a receiver. No, I'm just. Okay, time off. So Theresia Tinani Valu on. The paddock. How many? For the Fijiana and Drua. And a receiver. Okay. Numbers are six. Numbers are six. Let's go, Taiwan. She's the receiver. She's the receiver. Hold Grace. They win the line out, the Fijiana and Drua. And Sewa Brax away. And an inside ball. And running the angle is Nikore. She's so strong, but gets beaten by the touchline. And it's Vela getting the taps on the back, the pats on the back. Margot Vela had to make this last this tackle. Nice little in ball, beats three, beats four. And Nakore was going for the corner post. And Vela had different ideas. Great defence. Oh, you can see that bench jumping up and down, trying to get her to that try line. Oh, so close, but Vela had different plans with a fantastic cover tackle. They were excited. So Ului Nayal is on the field as well for Fijiana. Gama wins it, sends it down off the top to Adibasaya. He's duck. Oh, runs into a huge tackle from Lewin Ingula. Matt Basanga with the box kick and Nikore, here's trouble. The blue jersey swarm and Matarungu tries to draw a few of them in. Turned over. Well done, Matta Basanga. Yeah, Ili Baden Basanga is really having a stormer this afternoon and that one finds touch. You can really hear that crowd, can't you? The local, the, the Fiji crowd, really trying to get their team over the try line. Yeah, great community down here in Melbourne and around Victoria. A lot of Fijian support, of course, here. Also, 
around Australia, but also back in Fiji, the support that the Fijiana and Drew are receiving. The fact that Ili uh, got that turnover ball being Fiji, and I'm sure they wouldn't mind. <laughs> See the tackles there. Moritar's making double the amount of tackles defensively. It's been tiring out here this afternoon and reasonably hot conditions in Melbourne. Moritar's hanging on to this two-point advantage. Really bat of a saga being knocked around. A cut above her eye earlier in the match. You can Desperate. see what this means to them, can't you? All right, so Tars clinging on to a two-point lead, but they are under the pump here in the Super W Grand Final. And Chancellor gets up and wins that one. So now, what will the Tars do? They need to chew off some metres. They're really struggling to get off their own goal line here. Looking to improve the angle for McKenzie. And McKenzie this time sends play up to the 22, but they're still under the hammer. They're working very hard to get out of their 22, and Fijiano are doing an exceptional job to sort of keep them there with all the threats that the Waratahs have. As you can see, some fans there enjoying the music, getting amongst it. Oh, aren't they getting amongst it? So we've got a replacement as well. Here comes the K-Train. Eva Kapani on the field. She can break a game wide open, as we've seen this season. Emily Robinson gets a spell and a standing ovation from the crowd here at Amy Park. And the Chancellor gets up to contest again, but they win it this time. The Fijiana and Drew up. Louis Nayao to the winning Gila. Wrestled to the ground by Kapani. First involvement for Eva. Matarungu around the corner. Louis Nayao to Ofaki Molino into the backfield. Trouble here for the Waratahs. Can they hold on? Batibasaga again. Uh, Ilaseva Batibasanga is really stamping her name on this game. Oh, that's two in a row for the scrum half. And at really crucial times. A fucking Molino came around the corner. Carry. And it was a really good pick-up placement time. Perfect timing from the scrum half bat of Asaga. Yeah, she's had a huge game in huge moments. And, and Bat of Asaga has been, she won't mind me saying this, a veteran <laughs> of the game. And um, I think in games like this, when it is tight and you, you're defending your line, you need someone like that to step up. And that's exactly what she did. Tackle stats are going through the roof for the Waratahs. Almost twice the amount of tackles. There you have it. Really having to defend hard. The Waratahs to defend their title for a fifth time. Set up them all. What can the Tars do here? Bat of the Sunger wants it. Taking away is Delamere and taken to ground. There's a player on the ground for the Fijiana and Drua who wasn't rolling away, but it'll be a play on here. And looking out, the Fijiana and Drua just a metre out. They go quickly. Tinani Balu brought down right in the centre of the field. Randini Yavuni. Takes it for a carry. The whistle goes again. And Louis Nayal goes quickly. The winning Gila. Oh, hit hard, but still fighting her way towards the line. This is an onslaught from the Fijiana and Rua. Calling the players in his Matarungu. Having to defend so hard here. Chancellor. Kuchi had hands on the ball. It's play on Tinani Valu with a carry. Rumbuti. Rumbuti is close. Stop, 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 
Here come the Andrua. The Tars get off the line. Now they have the overlap. Trouble for the Waratahs. And Nikora is in again. She has two for the afternoon. And finally, the damn wall breaks. What a try. Fijiata and Drua. They had a about five or six pick and drive and all of a sudden then they saw okay we've got advantage we'll go wide Rocco Uno gets it wide to the try scoring machine of Nakore and they hit the front again Fijiana and Drua yeah they were incredibly patient there in just picking and driving and pulling in all the New South Wales Waratah defense and as you can see Nakore uh, getting that fantastic try Ravisa good hands from the fullback as well Timiana Ravisa knew the space was out wide and the bench knew how important that was. Plenty of time left for both teams and the support down that end of the field for Fiji has been incredible this afternoon. You almost wonder if that's a bit of relief from the Waratahs that now they can just get it up the yeah. other end of the field. Because yeah. that was an onslaught of epic proportions. Nakore, two tries this afternoon. Seven tries all up in the Bill Corp Super Rugby Comp. Trying to convert her own try. So this is an important kick. It takes the Andrua out to a five-point lead. She slips. The direction was good, but the direction was good, but not the power. And Nikora, this could be a real blow. She's hurt. Is she okay? This will be devastating for them if she's really injured. She seems to be grabbing at her calf. I thought she was cramping before as well when she, just when she scored the try. Oh, she's left foot, the plant foot slipped straight from underneath her. I feel like she's done enough run meters to justify <laughs> cramping. She's had an outstanding game. So Nikore, she does end up getting up and getting to her feet. They'll take her off the sideline whilst they can restart the game. Rotars with the ball back in the middle of the field. What a super W final this is. A couple of changes of the lead. Rotars fought back to get two points in front. So we're just hanging a second here to see if Nikore can retake her place on the field. She does. She's been so dangerous this season. And maybe just need a bit of pickle juice or a <laughs> salt tablet or something. Whatever she's having, I want some of that. <laughs> yeah, that's she's right. She's an outstanding athlete. All right, Mackenzie gets us restarted. And Matarungu pushes the ball backwards. It's there for the Tars, though. Kapani. All right, takes three Fijiana and Drua jerseys to drag her down. Here's Mackenzie. Liate, shifting it wide to Kramer. Kramer gets the ball away to Fredericks. Delamere, three tries this afternoon. Mackenzie, O'Gorman. Oh. Really winding up there, Bridie O'Gorman. Mackenzie drills it in behind, looks to split the Fijiana and Drew players and finds no quarter, and she puts a foot into touch. So the Tars finally make their way inside the Fijiana and Drew 22. Yeah, Nakore just getting caught. Lovely little kick in behind from Mackenzie. And what's the work here? Yeah, just put on the touchline. Emily Chancellor going through and defending. Yeah, Emily Chancellor and also Mar uh, Margaret Vella to sort of block her and show her the sideline as well. As we discussed before, it really is the game of the tens, isn't it? Like that really clever kick behind the defensive line to again put the pressure, redirect the pressure back to Vigiana, and now it's time to see how they respond. All right, we've got more cramping going on here for Grace Hamilton, the captain. Yeah, she's been immense this afternoon, Grace Hamilton, again, of course. Fijiana and Drew will play the Wallaroos in a couple of weeks' time in Brisbane on May the 6th. 
So a great opportunity for the Wallaroos to once again take on the majority of this Fijiana and Drua team in a couple of weeks' time. You we'll see how Grace got injured. Yeah, they're just... It's also probably very timely to have a breather, right? Well, the this... great thing for Grace Hamilton, she, this is her fourth Super Rugby W final, so she's got a lot of experience. So has three or four other players in this competition in the side. Of course, up next, the Blues with probably one of the best players in the world, Bowden Barrett, captaining the Blues, taking on Fiji and Drua. Shout out to Bowden Barrett yesterday at the Weary Dunlop lunch here in Melbourne and he was very relaxed yeah. enjoying international travel again it's good to see them across this side of the ditch so Gama wins it drags it in one handed and they set up this maul once again which has been lethal this afternoon and they get front football it's just crabbing across field here it's Delamere again bat of the sung up it's been dragged down by the Fijiana and drew a penalty advantage. Mackenzie, Fredericks on a flat line. Whistle goes, we'll come back to the centre Three. field and let's have a listen to what Tyler Miller has cynical, to say. Collapsing them all. Yellow card, cynical. Oh, the captain is on off the, the field. This could be a big moment collapsing in this match. Cynical offence. Right in front of the post. I don't think you take three points because you're not going to get down here again. Go for touching, you see there. Attila Tawaki, number three for Fiji and Drua. Fijiana team bullet down and good skipper. Grace Hamilton going for touch. Yeah, they know that their set piece is dangerous, and particularly with a player down, this could possibly equate to five or seven points. So very wise decision by Gracie. Delamere's already got three tries. Can she get four? Mangama brings it down. They set them all up again. This time they're getting driven backwards, but they'll shear off to the left. Delamere in control. This time she'll have to pass it back. Who's got it? They're still edging their way forward. Now Capani breaks away. The K train is in. Eva Capani, she's a game breaker. Well, is she going to score a more important try in 22? Eva Kapani. You see a jersey number 18 because the ball got shifted forward. Delamere had to then place the ball back. And Eva Kapani says, OK, I'm going to go to the right. There's only one player there. And it was Decore. Yeah, really great vision by the K-Train, as you say, Swaney. Um, eyes up footy. Seeing where there's space. Here she has a look. Here we go. Fender, Fens Coates. Tucks and under and uh, manages to get over the line. For all the young girls watching at home, watch what Eva Kapani do, does here with the ball. She has it in her right arm when she comes out of the mall and she knows the defence is coming from her left, so she tucks it under the left and puts two hands around the ball as she dives over. What a try. We've just seen how damaging that Waratahs mall is all afternoon. It's caused the Fijiana and Drua trouble. And with Bitila Tawake, the Fijiana and Drua captain, in the bin for the next seven and a half minutes, this is a real opportunity for the Tars to try and just get a little gap on the scoreboard. Kramer looking to bring it back around, sneaks it inside, important kick. 26 plays 22 with 17 to play. Talk about the Fijiana support here. Plenty of support for the New South Wales girls and the team. A lot of parents have flown down from Sydney to support their daughter. That was a really important goal. And as you can see, Laurie Kramer has kicked three from four attempts. And you know how critical it is in, the, in a grand final. So well done, Laurie Kramer. Under pressure and all. Rocco Uono sends a flat ball down to Mbatabasanga, who's been immense this afternoon for the Waratahs. Delamere taking it to the line, and Nakama loses it forward. 
That's a scrum to the Fijiana Endure. It's 26 plays 22. White ball. Yeah, just a loose carry from Sierra Naguama, but it was also a good tackle from Fijiana. She didn't see who that was, but opportunity now. Why don't you give the ball back? Fijiana and Drua, they're not going to give it back to you that quickly. The skipper, Tawake, sits on the touchline. Six minutes left for her with the yellow card. Back to Pakasgram, a player down. I wonder what they're doing. It looks like the backs have crept in a bit. Not holding so wide, so I wonder if it's going to be a middle play through Coach! the back of Waratah's backs. We'll just come up. So the Waratah's in a fight here with the Fijiana and Drua. They haven't really had to endure this type of battle for in a grand final for a couple of years, but the first two Super W grand finals were decided by three points or less. Mm. We all remember that famous 2018 victory by the Waratahs over the Reds at the Sydney Football Stadium. Coach! Ash Houston, the hero that day. Ash now playing for the Brumbies. We've seen some brilliant moments. Luino out. It's the ball out to Randina Yavuni now. And early pass to Ravisa. Ravisa, the little goosey. And takes play into the 22. Rundini Yavuni tries to get the quick ball going, but Chancellor once again with a clutch play at the breakdown. Watch how quickly Emily Chancellor reads this and her timing to come in to the breakdown on Rundini Yavuni. Break out wide, and then they came back infield. So quickly was Emily Chancellor to get on the ball. Just timing there. The clean out wasn't right from Fijiana and Drua. Couldn't get her off the ball. Yeah, M Chancellor is one of the best in the game. So um, very good timing, very good read, and the body height was outstanding. Christy, there's been a couple of really important steals in this match. A couple from Mbatabasaga, a couple from Emily Chancellor, one from Grace Hamilton. This turnover is really important in midfield. They are, it completely changes momentum. Nangama wins it at the front. Hamilton in the midfield. Shaking off the cramp from a little bit earlier. And Chancellor looks back inside to Nangama. McKenzie again with the little kick in behind. A definite ploy from the Waratahs to just try and turn around this Fijiana team. She's been really good in the second half. Arabella McKenzie just copping a hit as she kicked kick the ball through but that's about a third or fourth grubber kick in behind the wingers on especially on the left side of the defense of Fijiana great vision as we've talked about and what I like about it is it slows the play down again so they have to play to the speed that the, that New South Wales Waratah would like to dictate as opposed to that upbeat game that Fijiana always sort of like to play yeah, definitely ploy after half time from their coach Campbell Atkin to put the ball in a touch and slow the match down. And that one is a free for all. And it comes up with the Tars. So Dillamir looking inside to Kapani again. Comes into it. Another powerful player in Lewin Chancellor. A link player out to the wing for Kramer. Here's Hamilton. In double digit carries this afternoon is Grace again. Here's Piliate, and this time Piliate tries to keep it low. And Nikore wins it but loses it. It went backwards. It's play on. Here's the winning killer again. And the penalty advantage is there for Fijiana and Drua. Kapani driving backwards in the tackle. Randini Yavuni wants to go quickly. And Asked to come back to the mark. <laughs> oh, nervous moments with just over 10 to play. There's still plenty of time left for Fijiana and Drua. They just can't panic. They've been the best team all season in the Super W. 12 minutes left in the match. Tyler Miller just sending back the Tars. 
to their mark. So she hasn't tapped it yet. Louis Noyer with the tap, though. And Matarungu, who just continues to work hard for this Indrua team. Louis Noyer will go short side. Here's Ravisa on the outside. Oh, they're away. The Indrua once again. Murphy looked to make the tackle. It was the little slide play from Ravisa. Brilliant from the Fijiana Indrua fullback. Oh, that's unbelievable from Ravisa because Mahalia Murphy dead set had her covered. She knew the pace was coming. And Ravisa, a couple of nice hands early in this match. Haven't seen a lot of her out wide. The space they had, Rocco Uno knew there was space there. And then she knew Mahali Murphy was coming, the slide and go. And she didn't need Lamani on, Lamani on the left. And Fijiana and Drew hit the front again. Yeah, that was amazing. Look at the determination. No, I've not quite seen this tactic before to avoid a defender. Oh, but remarkable. I feel like more people in the World Cup will be adopting it. That was amazing. And, and the finish, you can see how much it means to the team. They are jumping ecstatically, oh, as are was... the supporters behind them. Oh, Ravisa, she was sliding into steel third. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. Mahalia Murphy went straight by. So we have a one-point ball game as time ticked down on the yellow card as well. We're into the final 10, and Rocco Uono just shaves it across the face. So the Andrua lead by one. What a grandstand finish we've got coming up. Tim, what do you think Gracie Hamilton is saying to them behind the line when they're regrouping? Well, I think they're saying just, just don't worry about that. That's gone now. You can't worry too much about it. But the next 10 minutes, this is what we're going to do. So we've got to try and receive the, the restart. We've got plenty of time. We want to play to the touch lines. Just don't panic. Still be patient. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Mackenzie. This one's contestable, but it's there for Ofaki Molino. If we know how. Organising the troops. They send it back. Rocco, we want to. Puts it up in the midfield. This will find grass. Mackenzie's there. And shifts it to Murphy, who's looking to get on the outside now. Sends it to Kramer. Kramer straightening. And holds onto the ball, lays it back. O'Gorman. Really fighting for every contest the Fijiana and Drua. Mackenzie to Fredericks. Fredericks has to get rid of it quickly to Vela. It's a one on one. But Mike Cordet holds on to Vela. Nangama. It's a quick ball for Baden Basanga. Here's Mackenzie out the back to Piliate. Piliate shows and goes. Here's Kapani. So hard to bring down. It squirts out the back, but the penalty goes the way of the Drua. That's a big play. And a bit of descent as well. So March 10, and I think you'll find Bitila Tawaki might come back on the field here as well. Have got their tails up, didn't draw up. They are out of their oh, feet, no, aren't they? They're exhausted. Yeah. That was seven phases they just I defended. Yeah. We need to settle down. Yeah. I won't have any of that chat, OK? She put me a dog. So just being reminded not to oh, back look, chat to the I ref. Am, I understand in the context. Eva Kapani penalised and marched yeah, 10 metres, so Fiji and Drew midfield. They'll tap and go. They've done all afternoon. What a game. Six and a half minutes left. Try and control the ball for the next two or three, Fijiana. Let's go now. The showcase event. And Matarungu. Just another carry. Her 14th. Gets the ball away to Willowen Ingilla. Willowen Ingilla gives it to Nikore. Is that the title? For the Fijiana and Drua. Nikoria nails her third try. And have they run away with the title? 
you can just see what that means to these people and the fans. Hugs all around. Nakore, what an outstanding finish. So here you can see at the back of the ruck, it goes through. And again, the offload game is the, the Fijiani's game to the last person, which is Nakore, and she just does a brilliant finish. And who more deserving? Must have been that pickle juice, Swanee. <laughs> Nakore. Brilliant. It was Lewin and Gila who made the initial break on the outside. And weren't they happy? Vitalina Nikore now with eight tries for the season and a hat trick today. I think um, the assistant coach Mike Legg was telling me that she came from a soccer background. So imagine what this hero creation is happening back home. How many other soccer players back there want to come and now join rugby union? It's amazing. Oh, it's quite incredible. Now, this is an important kick as well. Rocco Uono doesn't have the extras. So, a converted try in it for the Waratahs and the Andrua. A six point lead for the Fijiana team. No, I caught it. Just a deadly finisher. Fans are happy. <laughs> when you're ready. Five right. minutes to go. Five to play in this final. What can the Waratahs muster? Mackenzie, again, it's contestable. This one's floating long. Mistake. Not the start they would have wanted. Notice that Batapasaga is also off. So a midfield scrum here. After the error off the kickoff from Arabella McKenzie. And you can hear the singing in the stands. Oh, I love it. That's where I'm going after this game. Go celebrate with them. We're on the cusp of history here at Amy Park. Coach! What an afternoon, what an occasion it's Burns, been. Oh. Oh. Louis Nayao, big scrum here from the Waratahs. Pressure for the Andrua and they win the penalty. Big moment. Love seeing Nagama sort of calm her troops and say, fantastic effort, team, but now let's try and get down that end and get five points on them, if not seven. Well, it's going to take seven points to win this ball game. And Mackenzie finds touch. That was huge, that scrum. You can see what it means there to M. Chancellor. All right. She has been immense for them this afternoon. What a battle it's been in the Build Corp Super W final of 2022. And Chancellor wins it. Wrapping around is Delamere and can't hit the target, but Mackenzie keeps her composure. And that one is lost forward. It'll be a scrum to the Fijiana and Drua. It is a six point ball game. So, the pressure is really mounting. Yeah, they'll be disappointed with that. I mean, they had key possession, as you can see here, Azarella McKenzie and Laurie Kramer, unfortunately, just passed forward uh, to Gracie Hamilton there. You, you saw Grace just try to pull her hand away at the last minute. Yeah, and unfortunately, it was too late, wasn't it? So less than two to play, and the Fijiana and Drew are in control. They have the scrum, although the Tars scrum dominated the last one. Can they do it again? This is a big moment. Fijiana and Drew, Louis Nayao gets it away. Here's Rocco Uono. Randini Yavuni kicks it in behind. Murphy is back there. 
And she's isolated. She gets away, though. Mahalia Murphy. They scramble in defence, the Fijiana and Drua. Tars will need to keep this in hand. Duck. Composure needed from the four-time Super W champions looking for a fifth straight title. They're going to have to do it the hard way, though. Delamere into some space. And she's still going. Keeps her composure. On the field is Lane Morgan for the Waratah. Oh, Lini is folded backwards. Here's Nangama. Fredericks, Chancellor, Murphy, and Kramer out wide now. Herring down the sidelines. Throws it back in field. It's there for the Fijiana and Drua. Murphy over the top. The Andrua hold on to it. Now a chance to counter. Naikore. Grass, but here's Maturungu, and who wants it? Frenetic pace. Frantic moments. And the Fijiana and Drua. They get the penalty. Wow. They get the penalty. Huge, huge play. That will be the title. All I have to do is get it out of play. Luenengila to Rocco Uono. A new champion is crowned in the Super W. The Fijiana and Drua etch their name and nation into women's rugby history here in Australia. What an amazing game. Wow, you could not have asked for a better game. Two teams going head to head with the physicality, the skill. Um, I feel blessed to be here, Swainy. What a super moment for this super round. You can see what it means. It means to both. I mean, poor New South Wales, I feel for them because their effort was gallant. Oh, they fought till the very end, this New South Wales Waratahs team. Four times champions. Four titles straight, but this Fijiana and Drua team are the new invincible team on the block. You know, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that they managed to get on the back page of the paper. They will, and it is the Fijiana and Drua champions in 2022. 32 points to 26.